Hello, uh, this is for the sale of my motorhome. I'm currently on number plate J4MOU. Um, it's a Swift Contiki 640S Vogue. Um, selling it due to personal reasons. Um, owned the vehicle for uh, approximately two years. Um, it's in great condition as you can see. Um, recently applied new decals all round. It's passed its MOT uh, yesterday with no advisories. Um, it passed its MOT last year also with no advisories. Um, and as you can see, it's in generally good condition. Um, there has at some point been a little bit of damage down this side, which has been repaired, but it looks perfectly fine as you can see. Um, there are little bits of rust coming through in a couple of places, but again, not serious. Um, if you go onto the Facebook page, Camper Vans and Motorhome Oldies on Facebook, and there's a gentleman that runs that page called Tom. He quoted me about £500 to do, basically rub it back, do the paint on this bit, obviously to make it look nice again. Um, that was something I was planning on doing, but I uh, decided against it because we were just going to sell it. Um, it's got continental tyres all round. And as you can see, uh, the matching and the tread depths, there's plenty of it. Um, it's in really very good condition. It's never let us down. Um, when uh, we bought it, uh, the people that we bought it off um, had recently done the uh, cam belt. Oops. <coughs> and obviously it doesn't need doing again for a fair while. Um, it's 2.5 turbo diesel with power steering. Um, it always, I don't think it's ever dropped below 30 miles per gallon. And that's obviously filling it up to the rim, doing the mileage, checking it against the mileage, against the amount of fuel that you put back in. And as I say, 30 miles per gallon, pretty much guaranteed all the time. Um, I put the Thule Omnimaster, Omnistore, whatever you call it, uh, wind out awning on last year. Um, it was very expensive. And it's a really nice piece of kit. It's only been used probably two or three times, to be honest with you. Um, it comes with a handle, which oh. I've fixed just inside the doorway. Um, I'm not going to wind it out, but I mean, it, it works perfectly. And it's got the uh, couplings, which I've updated on the side and resealed as well, so it doesn't leak um, on both sides. So you can either have it hooked onto the side of the van um, or you can have it on the floor. It also has the thule straps, which I'll include with this as well. Right, so uh, look inside. Um, on, in here, I'm not going to open it, it is what it is. There's two gas bottles, basically. Um, they will can come with it, no problem at all. And there's a spare one, basically, with the lead out so that you can have a gas barbecue on the outside, if you wish. So, uh, on the interior, um, we've put the hardware in the lino on the floor. Um, I've got a dog, um, so there, there might be <laughs> traces of dog. Uh, it doesn't smell inside, it's nice and clean, it's always been looked after. Um, the worktops uh, were painted over with this nice grey, which is like a chalky paint. Uh, it gives it a nice finish, and I also did the table as well, as you can see. Um, all the actual cupboards themselves have been lined with this material. It looks really nice, gives it a more modern feel and a look. And that's all round, so it matches everywhere, everywhere you look. Um, seats, and I know that they're a little bit older style, but because I didn't want to change the, the, the driver's seats, I left them as they were. Um, I didn't think that was too bad. Um, the fridge does work on 12 volts, uh, electric and also gas. Everything works perfectly in that sense. And the cooker works perfectly as well. Um, Passenger seat is captain style seat. So, let me, where is it? So you can swivel that round if you wish. Driver's seat is static. Um, there's obviously a bed above the cabin with a vent and the two side windows. Um, I think it's this one. 
uh, no it's not it's the other one that side is uh it's shut basically it must have had a bit of a bang at some point and it's been basically shut down so you can't open the window but obviously you can still open that one and you can open the light um all the lights work perfectly it has got a solar panel on the roof 120 watts and it's connected to two leisure batteries as well so uh, and they are in turn connected to an inverter which i'll show you in a second all the fans and everything works there's a separate led light on there and when that's on uh, there is a usb socket up there um, so the person that's in there can have a usb if they wish to charge the phone or whatever um, underneath this side of the uh, other two uh, the other double bed is the water tank um, i have taken it out recently uh, and cleaned it properly uh, using specialist materials um, after i took it out i also put in then an inline filter after the tank so it is perfectly safe to drink the water from there um, in the back it again makes a nice lounge area and we used to love sitting on the beach um, because obviously you know you've got the views you can watch television um, and then it obviously turns into a bed again so obviously you've got six berth um, led lights in the back and obviously they all work perfectly um, it's got the double glazed sides and then it's also got these blinds that we have put in and they go down as you can see and obviously the curtains go over and that's all round as well um, i'm taking the television out uh, that is from a child's bedroom um, as you can see there's two brand new leisure batteries and also the oops excuse me the inverter which works perfectly and obviously when it's down it's hidden and that works perfectly as well all expensive gear um not in any way shape or sort uh skimped on anything it's all been done with love because obviously we intended to use it and keep it um, in the bathroom oops just move that bathroom it's a uh, single cassette toilet uh, shower uh, etc um, at some point there's been a problem with the taps so when you want to switch the tap on you have to switch this button here you see that that one and then that one does the light but it all works perfectly um, as I say with the big water tank and the heater and everything working in it you know you can have a nice shower in there no problems at all uh, drinks cabinets for those of you that like a drink uh, there is an alpine head unit up here that we put in uh, unfortunately it stopped working and i didn't really investigate it any further but mainly speaking that we put these rear speakers in the back here and they're more than loud enough for the whole unit um what else can i show you um it's in nice clean condition it doesn't smell um when i bought it the people that i bought it from told me that uh, this wall had been replaced because it was a bit of damp um, you know, you can't expect to buy something of this sort of age and not expect it at some point to have a little bit of damp. It doesn't smell of it anyway. Um, I'm an asthmatic and so that was something that was really important for me. Um, it's in really nice, clean condition and it works very, very well. In the front, in the driver's seat, it's really comfortable. I mean, I like driving in it. Um, I put an extra mat down just for a bit of extra comfort. It's got a Pioneer DAB head unit. Um, it has got a reversing camera but i unplugged it it really annoyed me if you want to plug it back in all the wires are there you just need to put it back in um, i'd just prefer to use my mirrors to be honest with you um i can't think of anything else it's, it's a lovely van i don't want to sell it really but it's not much use to me anymore everything works as it's short i can't think of anything that doesn't really that i've not mentioned um charge works show you the the solar so that's where the solar comes in and goes to the battery and as you can see you can charge your gadgets and stuff up through that as well and that's the stereo etc and there is a digital aerial you can have that it works really well anyway uh, any questions um if you want to know anything else um there's two sets of keys um the only negative thing i would say other than this there is a very small oil leak um, it's never bothered me it's just obviously the same as anything else or something this age when you're using it a lot it's always worthwhile checking the oil um, it does drop a little bit but not massively at all uh, all in all a really nice usable motorhome and it's actually really nice to drive and dead easy to use um, it just needs using basically now oh there is another thing i knew there was something 
completely forgot. I also added a night heater, which is here and it works perfectly and it's situated just under there. So at the moment when it's nice and warm, you won't need it. But when it's hot, <laughs> when it's cold, uh, yeah, it's phenomenal. It really does work very well. Anyway, so um, I'll end the video there. Um, any questions? Uh, if you want to come and look at it, if you want to test drive it, that's fine. What I will say to you, if you want to test drive it, I'd need to see some, some insurance uh, because obviously it's it means a lot to me and I spent an awful lot of money on it getting it to this position. So thanks for thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Take care.